Hello, and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to learn about Tortoise ORM. Tortoise ORM is an async ORM that's relatively new. Here is our async ORM with a fast API integration. We'll be using this with fast API integration, and we'll, I'll be splitting this into two fairly short videos. Um, we're going to learn how to use Tortoise ORM that's basically based on this example um, with the docs. And Tortoise ORM is a great ORM and has great fast API integration. Let's begin. To begin with, we need to start with um, creating our models.py. First, we need to create our models.py. So we do touch main.py. After we do main.py, we also want to make our models.py. And we can see our models.py is here. Now how to install Tortoise ORM. Installing Tortoise ORM is relatively easy. All we have to do is do pip install Tortoise ORM. What this is going to do is it's going to install Tortoise ORM and that's successfully installed. To read our models, we do from so inside our models, we do from, so I'll close this up, from tortoise import fields and models. Next, we do from tortoise dot contrib dot pydantic import pydantic model creator. So from our ORM models, we're going to convert it into our regular Pythantic models we usually use. Now for just the Tortoise ORM model. Now it's actually um, relatively inspired and it's inspired from Tortoise um, ORM is inspired from Django. So there are some similarities. So we make a class and we're going to make a to do app for right now. So we do to do models.model. Inside our class models, we have an ID and it's fields dot in field, so our number, and then we have primary key is equal to true. Now, this is ID, of course, we always need our ID, and our primary key is true. So, what is a primary key? Basically, our primary key is basically the column or the existing area where the database, basically where it's stored. Basically, it will be assigned an ID, which is what the purpose of the primary key is for. And then we're just going to do topic, or we're just going to name the to-do name, and it'll be fields dot care field. The max length is 50, or we'll put the 250. And then we're just going to put due date, and we can put a date time field, but I'm just going to be careful to make it super simple for right now. You can change this as you want, click a documentation, but this is a very simple example. Now we have to make our Pydantic meta. So we just do class Pydantic meta. So remember what our metadata, basically if you search, um, basically the information you find is basically metadata is basically data about data. Basically, it's going to make it easy for us to um, interact and do stuff with the data with our metadata. Now we have our computed and exclude. So um, we're just going to pass that for right now for this purpose because um, we're not going to exclude or um, we're not going to um, computing anything as of right now. So we're just going to pass. 
So next we have to create our Pydantic models with our Pydantic model creator. So we have to do Pydantic and that's equal and we'll keep that. We'll just pass this for right now. So we're not, we're not, it's not going to be valid. And then user in or to do in Pydantic and that's just Pydantic model creator. And we also put Pydantic model creator. So what we're going to do is we take from the models. They're both taking from to do. Um, but we're going to name this name and then to do in. Or just to do. This will be the in model as from our response model. So our name is going to be to do in. So our to do in model. And then we're going to do exclude read only. So I'll make sure it's not read only. And that's true. Now that is our basic models. Um, there will be a next video soon doing the main.py and basically other interactions and creating our to-dos. We'll be that doing that in the next video. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.